Hello guys, today I want to talk about date time and timestamp. But first I want to apologize for my voice, I have a bit of a flu, but I still wanted to shoot a few videos sometime ahead because I have a few weeks of traveling ahead and I wouldn't be able to shoot more videos on the road and I don't want to leave you without daily videos, do I? So I hope my voice will not be a problem for you. Anyway, have you ever thought what is the difference between date time and timestamp in Laravel migrations? Someone asked this question on my Laravel daily com as a comment and I thought that I never really thought about it. Sometimes I use timestamp, in fact most of the time, but sometimes I do use date time and I never really felt the difference. So I tried to research, so this video is not the definite answer, but I will act kind of like a journalist from the field reporting to you what I found out. So first, my research stopped on the answer by Michael Dorinda on Laracast forum six years ago. It's heavily upvoted with 62 likes, which is a huge number in Laracast forum terms. And the main difference, he is saying that timestamp can use current timestamp and date time cannot. And I've tried to simulate that. I've added two fields to users table, date time and timestamp, and tried to use use current on update, which is a shortcut to current timestamps on update. And let's see if it's still the case. In my Tinkerwell, I have something like this. So create a user and then update it with new name. So we launch that. The answer is true, which means success. And in the database, we have something like this. So new name for the user, premium until and active until both are updated successfully with current timestamp. So this one works on both fields. So apparently, if I'm not mistaken, this is not the case anymore. So it was the case six years ago. And similarly, it was said on Stack Overflow in one of the answers, timestamp can use current timestamp. Apparently, date time can use that as well these days. So it's not the difference anymore. What is still the difference is the limit of future time of potential values of that field. So date time has the limit of year 10,000s or 9999 and timestamp will cause the trouble in year 2038. It is also a well-known kind of a bug like year 2000 bug. I haven't read much about it, but I know that in 2038, all IT people will have to do something with timestamp fields. So when I try to simulate that with Tinkerwell again, we launch that and it is successfully created with premium until and active until in 2038. But if I change that to 2039, we will get an error that invalid daytime format on active until specifically, which is a timestamp field. So no problem with this field, but there is a problem with active until. So if you want currently to have values in more distant future than 2038, you should use date time. And finally, I found an article of differences between MySQL, date time, and timestamp, because under the hood, those migrations actually create different MySQL types of columns. So this is date time MySQL type, and this is timestamp. So what is the difference? As of 2020, this article says, I haven't checked those facts, but they are similar, but aside from those range differences, also the size is different. In the latest MySQL version, date time requires five bytes plus three additional bytes for fractional seconds if you want to use them. Timestamp requires four bytes. I guess it's not a major difference for majority of the projects, but if you have million records, you may think about it. Also, time zones are important. Time zones in general is a totally separate topic of the video for the future, but apparently timestamp is better for time zones because it converts the time zones. Daytime does not convert and remains constant with the time zones. Also, timestamps can be indexed. And actually, let's try that. Let's add index here and index here. And let's remigrate the database, migrate fresh. Would it throw an error? Nope. And if we relaunch that in my database client, let's see the index, active until index, premium until index. Seems like indexes work well on both fields. So this is maybe false, not sure. In the comments below, add your comment if you know the correct answer. And also caching on timestamp is possible, but not possible on date time on MySQL level caching, the database level, not Laravel and not PHP the database level. Again, I haven't tried it and tested it, but that could be the difference. So out of all those random pieces of news, what is the conclusion? 
you are safe and good using timestamp and timestamps. I guess that's the recommended way unless you want these years. So time in more distant future than 2038. Is my conclusion correct? Again, share your opinion in the comments below. That's it for this short video, but if you want longer videos and longer tutorials, LaravelDaily.com is full of them with more added every week. So in premium tutorials, which are huge, like 5,000 words or 1,000 or 2,000 words, 3,000 words, you see the size. So you can make yourself a cup of coffee or tea and spend quite a few minutes reading those if you are a subscriber on LaravelDaily.com premium membership yearly or monthly. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.